G'day guys, uh, Grumpy Trev back again. I'm going to have a look at the uh, Esheen Cinecan 85mm 4K Cinework. This thing comes with a uh, Cadex Tarsier in it. Well, what you get in the box is another box, which you can put the uh, drone in. Spare set of props, instruction seats. Yeah, I think you get a couple of Velcro straps with it. A battery, a 300mm hour battery. 3S, a uh, little joystick to uh, configure the camera. Spare, that little flat thing's a spare cable for your camera. Screwdriver and a... Uh, Allen key. That's what it looks on the side. The frame looks a bit here you're going. Uh, looks pretty thin, but uh, I guess we'll have a flight test. We'll soon sort that out. Comes with the uh, Esheen Crazy B F4 Pro version three flight controller and 10 amp ESCs built in. They say it does two to four S. Don't know about a four S in that thing, but the motors, the uh, 1103s, 7000 kV brushless, of course. And there's the camera, which is the Cadex Katazi DVR. Matched up to a VTX, 25 to 200 milliwatts, 40 channels with smart audio, which is pretty cool. This thing weighs 63.7 grams without the battery. With the battery, it's around 89, well, 88, 89 grams, roughly. And the price of this thing is about 290 bucks AU, 195 US. So uh, we won't waste any more time on this. Let's just get the thing out in the field and see how good it is. Crystal skies, crowded places, lonely faces, howling wind. In those eyes, desperation, hesitation for the wind. From the darkness of the night We'll be shining past the brightest light from the darkness of the
Okay, so here we are with the first pack out in the field. Looking forward to flying this thing. Handles pretty good. I thought, oh yeah, it's got a little bit of poke. Not too bad. Better than what I thought it was going to be. Really good until this happened. Yeah, I thought, oh, it must have been a shit battery. So replace the battery. This is take two. Let's go again. No worries. Going around here. Yeah, it's going okay now. Must have a bit of pack in it. So... Probably this is just 50 metres away from me. Go up a little bit higher. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Turn around. This is probably 51 metres. And it falls out of the sky again. This thing is just fail saving. It's just, there's a receiver in these things. Well, the, the one I got anyway is just absolutely shit. 50 metres, I was really pissed off this day because I couldn't get anything done. This is pack three. I go up a little bit. This is about 51.5 metres again. And it just falls out of the sky. Yeah, so there you go. Well, after much messing around, I've managed to put an XM Plus in this. Uh, the battery holder did break, so I've made a TPE one for it, which is a lot better. It's really bad case with these plastic frames. The first thing you break is the battery holder. So uh, it flies a lot better with the XM Plus. I can fly it out of sight just about. Um, there you go, guys. That's my take on the Esheen Cinecan Cinewoop 4K drone. So uh, it flew really well when I put a uh, XM Plus receiver in it, um, which I've explained earlier. The battery holder did break, so I've put a TPU on it. I will leave a link below where you can download the uh, STL for that. If you want to get one of these, don't get it with a receiver because the receivers in them are absolutely crap. I wish they'd wake up and just put them in as normal. It'll cost them extra 10 bucks, big deal. Then you wouldn't have to stuff around with it. Anyway, I'll leave a link below if you want to get one of these. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, stiff. Anyway, catch you later, guys.